Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. Behold, the fair city where Prince Zed and I fell in love, despite being born into opposing families. Like hell we did! Oh, Prince Zed, Prince Zed, wherefore art thou Prince Zed? And while we're at it, why art thou so rotten? Uh, because I'm a zombie? Duh. Come, Prince Zed, once from our families we flee. La la la, together we shall always live happily. Uh, running away isn't gonna make us happy. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Another super reincarnation, huh? What kind of world is it this time? Hmm, it appears to be highly advanced, at least from a technological perspective. Huh? Didn't Prince Zed die? Wait a second, did I die too? Is this a tragic ending? No! Anything but a tragic ending! Chill out. We just super reincarnated. Huh? Super reincarnated? <sighs> Must we explain this yet again? How troublesome. Then allow me! When the darkness of evil is on the rise, we crash the villainous party. Our seven lights spring to the task to save the world with courage and hope. Wait, no, they did it. With our powers combined, we are Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. My fucking gods. <laughs> Prism Red, aka the leader of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. From this moment on, you are all part of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. For the sake of justice. Then the others were forcefully in inducted into the Prism Rangers. Hey, what the hell? I'm just here to take down the God of Destruction. Right! And we'll fight against it as fellow Prism Rangers! Let's shoot for 100% ratings! Hmm, how interesting. The world we've reincarnated into seems to be inside some television show. Episode 4, The Meaning of Justice. A word, Zed. Have you been making use of the demonic intelligence? No, fuck that system entirely. 35 minimum, cyber special squad. Is that the one I was thinking about? Welcome to the squad shop! It is... Fuck. This is the squad ability that I loved having so much. Damn it. Accuracy enemy team attack rate, squad limit, have the accuracy for accuracy damage bonus for flanking to allies, and there it is, make the enemy AI visible. Expensive as all fucking hell. That can help you on some map, identify which units are the ones that are going to just rush you no matter what, which ones are going to hold their ground, what are they going to even try and do? And that number nine one, just enemy gets no flanking bonus versus allies, would actually be really good. But unfortunately, due to that price, fuck no. 
we just can't it. afford it. This is the quest shop. We got some new quests. And with this, we can make an undead if I give them a chard newt. It's all you now. I'm counting on you. Welcome to the Rosen Queen Company. I had one, I think, and I fucking used it. Damn. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh wait, that's right, they've been wandering this entire time. Are you guys dead? Gonna go explore the item world, huh? Did you get past floor one? Nope, they're just gonna keep on dying. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them there. If they can infinitely heal and keep smashing their head against that wall, there is a non zero percent chance I think that they can actually beat this item. Or get past floor one. Can they get frostbite them? I'm actually not sure. Oh, here to claim your prizes? We'd have to keep an eye on that, I think. Yeah, they're the chart new. Fuck. I'll have plenty of prizes waiting. Why is both for sense? I no clue. And those warriors too? Meh, who knows. And people actually mentioned that the story characters had like really good abilities that I could steal from them. Let me... See? Like I don't really put any on them. Like that's actually kind of okay. Dead were to try. Oh, damage for fist, and that's it, I think. Yeah, damage for fist is the only big one right there. That actually looks like it, it could be okay. Kill HP of an adjacent ally of 10% of hell owned at the end of the turn. That could be lucrative, but also easily gotten rid of if you just buy a couple too many bad things. And straight up just increase defense. Increase water element damage dealt by 20% per adjacent ally units. Not bad. Increase stats by 2% per ally unit on the map. That one is actually good. As long as you have everyone fully dispatched, that is a 20% buff to everyone if they all have it. At the cost of three at the cost of three points, though, that is expensive. Yeah. You're always welcome. Ah well, we got a new character that's never gonna see the field. I don't mind it. For years, I persevered as a lone wolf, but now, at last, new members have appeared. How about DLC? It's still not going to be used. What the? He just started bl blabbering out of nowhere. <coughs> Perhaps we've stumbled onto her monologue. They, they're a must in any musical, after all. Abandoned by her allies, one by one. Mocked for, fa uh, for failing to count to seven. Such were the trap. Oh, wait, 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 Mocked for failing to count to seven. That's a jab at something, and I'm not sure what. Such were the trials of Prism Loner. From star of the show to friendless lass, it's a tough world for any ally of justice these days. But... Alone or not, seeing just a is what makes Prism Red, Prism Red. 
With that, the light of hope is reignited. There's almost never seven members. Wasn't there seven in Disgaea... Four? I feel like in four they managed to actually have a full seven. But yeah, in every other in every other place that the Prison Rangers ever appeared, they have never had the full seven, and it's always fun. Still, my favorite uh, my favorite moment of the Prison Rangers is still Disgaea One. If you can find a copy of Disgaea One or go on YouTube, it's on there, and I love it so much. When Laharo is trying to climb the mountain, I believe to become the Overlord, the Prism Rangers just, just show up. Only red, blue, and yellow, and just, ah. That scream that Prism Red makes in that cutscene, it is the, what makes life so good. Is this game any good? That is a very interesting question to ask and have answered because have you played another Sky game? If you have, if you've played either four or five, this game will be interesting. It will be, uh, what are you talking about? You, that seems great, isn't it, Super Pretty? But if you are new to Skya, this is a good game. You're going to enjoy it. You will get to really experience it. If you're coming from the old ones, it's going to tickle you in a couple of strange ways. Some things are gone. Other things have been altered in such a way that they do not feel necessarily completely this guy. Okay, now we're starting off uh, positions. First off, Prism uh, Z. Red clothes aside, you can be Ranger Blue for your skin. But we don't get a say in it. Prism Princess will be Ranger Pink, which uh, while your burning passion leans on the red side, I've got a job to keep. I'll tell you more about it and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Not that I have any intention of being a ranger, but thank you. You certainly have an eye for quality. And Prism King can be... Uh, 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 yellow? Oh, what? On what basis? Why is mine the only one that feels like an afterthought? At least give me gold. Gold, I say. Gold is reserved for power-ups or add-ons who, def who defect from the enemy. Sorry, but what the leader says goes. Anyway, that settled the whole color scheme business. Neo, Prism Rangers, move out. It's time to get those ratings back. <coughs> Alright, but Zope70, thanks for the follow as well. You're awesome, man. But what I mean is, this game was made in 2020. It feels strongly like it was made in 2020. Because I see no other way that a game like this guy could have tried to make the jump to 3D and failed this much. It's not even necessarily a full failure. It's more of like they came just short. The 3D is not bad. And it looks okay. It's passable right now, right? That's because the game, the West only got the Switch version. So the PS4 version with no quality problems whatsoever. But the Switch does not have that. The game will default you to graphics mode, which is great and all, but it starts chopping and lagging if there's more than, I'm gonna say like what? maybe five or six characters on the screen and if you play this Gaia, I mean that's the standard map like the standard map will make you lag only when we get to areas that have less or no people on it it does start to feel like it's running at an actual 30 FPS aside that some systems have been taken out or just changed entirely for example demons no longer have demon specific weapons there's no demon uh, magical or physical weapon. Demons now use standard fucking, like, skills. Items no longer necessarily give you, are restricting what abilities you can use. For example, Monado here uses a sword. He's used a sword for a long time, but he still apparently will learn and be able to use axe skills. Every 
skill that the game or that the player can try to throw out. Player or actual enemy, really. Even some of the spells. Like, remember, if you remember the fire spell, standard, level one, fire. Just in the old Disguise games, it went to the sprite, it zoomed in on the sprite a bit, a little burst of fire, and it showed damage. But in this game, to really benefit the whole 3D thing, it shows the fire spell being made. The rune, the circle, magical circle appearing under the enemy, and then it detonates all under them. The problem is, the game has to teleport you to a void, empty room to show that happened between the two models, and then it goes back to the game, and then it shows you the damage you did. Doesn't sound like much, but every single move is now a cutscene move that warps to the same room. No, no move of anyone's has broken that trend at the moment of playing this game. If one does it later, I would be pleasantly surprised, and I'd be happy to see what it is, but I don't want everything is, like everybody said, Fire Emblem style of go to this mystical land where we attack one time and that's it. Hey, 3D? I don't mind it, really. But I think that if they wanted to go 3D, they should have gone full 3D. Or at the very least, not try to make what work of 2D into 3D. For example, if you remember in the, uh, the other Disguise games, they, they were brought to life with the pose and the animation that they could be done. That the pose they would make when they like got emotionally hurt, when they were happy, when they jumped and all that. In 2D, it works really well because it's the characteristics and the energy of the sprite movement and the art itself. In 3D, the models are not stellar. And the camera angles in full 3D environments that I want to show off do not show those poses in the best light. In the sprite 2D world, it's easy to do because you just draw it and make it look beautiful. But in 3D, you can make it look great in one pose, but the roundness of the chibi models don't do it many favors, and the camera angles just cut it even more. As I think I described it before, if you've ever played them, uh, what's it called, Game Dev Tycoon, it feels like NIS has put all their points throughout their entire gameplay of, that, of it into 2D, and they have mastered it. They have made it look so stylized, so beautifully done. And their engine is made for it. And then out of nowhere, they said, 3D is the future after everyone is already doing 3D. They're falling behind. They need to reinvent themselves. They have to go build a new engine for it. But they don't know how to do it. So they have to ship thing, their first game with 3D 1.0 instead of 2D 5, 6.0 or whatever they had. That is honestly the best way I can describe this. It also doesn't do any favors that this game was clearly made in 2020, the year of the virus, where everything was going wrong, things had to be redesigned how they were made, and God knows, it shows that the development cycle was utterly fucked. Like, I would not put it past them to try and update the game and make it look a little bit better, but honestly, I don't know if they have the money and time to do that. You're going to find a couple of changes that they're going to spot that I don't know because I just haven't seen them yet. But I, strange enough, at the moment of talking to you right now and saying all this, I still think the game's worth a good, per a good purchase in the play. That could be the bias of me having played all the Sky games and just loving the series altogether, but Where do you wish to go? that's my current impression. What's going to happen with it when we get late farther in the game? No clue. But for the moment, I want to play the game, I want to beat it, I want to go to Carnage, and probably I want to fight Ball too. But it depends on how much this game shows its design changes, and how much 3D creeps into it. Would you recommend buying the game at $39.99? Are you talking US dollars or some other currency? For US dollars, I would. I mean, I did. None of my games have been provided for free. I'm not like some big guy hotshot that gets to call the shots and like, hey, can I get a free copy of your game to play on stream? I, I wish I could, but I gotta buy all of them. So at the very least, I can tell you that I bought it and I currently do not regret my purchase. It actually is called TV World. I kind of like that. Research facility. What do we got? A world in 
inside of a television show. Inconceivable! The God of Destruction will destroy any world indiscriminately. There's no reason why it wouldn't show up here. So, why the hell did it have to be a TV show world this time around? The most likely explanation is that this world holds a power necessary to defeat the God of Destruction. It sounds like a load of crap! As I said, Super Reincarnation always seeks the most likely avenue for success. It never makes mistakes. Hmm? So, we're on TV right now? Is that what you mean? That's right! You're the newest members of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! Oh, how splendid! I've become a ranger! That's similar to a hero, isn't it? Hey, Armada! Are you watching this? I shan't be outdone! La la la, I'll sing our theme song when we've won! You can't! The show's already got a theme song! And more importantly, you still have to listen to my explanation! Previously on the Prism Rangers, losing heart after back-to-back -back losses, the Rangers went their separate ways. But just as the final Ranger, Prism Ray, found herself alone, heroes from another world appeared to help her defeat the villain. And that's the story so far. Yeah, I still have no idea what the hell's going on. We haven't been able to defeat the God of Destruction. At this rate, our show will be canceled. Please join the Prism Rangers! For the sake of all the good little kids watching at home! Hell no. Your other members ran from the God of Destruction, yeah? Serves them right if your show gets canceled. You're definitely not wrong about that. But I want to stay a Prism Ranger. I have to see justice served. Justice? That's so pointless. What's it good for, anyway? Kirk took 999 points of emotional damage. Justice is the ultimate good! Justice will save the world! No, no, you're thinking of money. Money makes the world go round. My, my, you're both wrong. It's the power of love that will save the world. Right, Princess? You can buy love with money. That's not called love, you moron. Ugh. I thought everyone's hearts would come together and the Prism Rangers would make a comeback. But with hearts as disjointed as yours, we're totally screwed. Suddenly, this uh, sending Prism Ra uh, Red's despair, a group of nameless underlings appear and surround the squad. that get in my way. Okay, okay, okay. I know I do not want to use main characters. The allure for me of playing Sky Games is the character that you guys give me and trying to make it work. But if you will allow me, I reserve the right to later on use her if she if her special attacks suddenly bring out other Prism Rangers in the, in the animation. I would fucking love that. Yellow has nothing? Defense plus 50 and... <laughs> what the fuck are the names in this game? Enemy boost 50. Ally boost 50. Hmm. <laughs> Technically, if I want to do this, I need to... That's a clear one. Need to break the red one first. 
from there, we can break, or we can throw the green one on there. If you go to defense 50, break that if we want to do combo more, then ally boost will do it. Or if we want, throw these two onto it in the order they are right now. Get all the way over here, break this, and it will clear the entire area. I'm gonna trust you on this shining. Defense 50. Reset your movement. Fire Souls 700, thanks for the follow. You're awesome, my dude. Welcome. Yes. You can in, you can make it. Hold the line with the defense. You should not worry at all. Though that enemy boost is kind of rough. Oh. You guys might also just be that fucking well off right now with the new items and shit. Okay, no. You are the one that's. God, empty fan, really? I thought you had enough attack to do... Okay, no, 100k, 80k, 78. You might be a little bit behind, but still, we're going to work on that. You just need some more reincarnation than you. Though you can rough up like no one else. Uh, though. Can you reach? Technically can if we go one over. for the actual... I think you need to be one away, right? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there we go. Jamie's will not try and run us just yet. Alright, next turn. Oh boy. The game knows what I'm trying to do. Right. So if we destroy this, all red will turn yellow. Oh wait, no. Then I gotta run back here and turn that into yellow into green. I forgot. Shit. Still, it's able to be done. Ally boost will just help out so much. Movement speed is not ascending anymore. Or are you just chilling with their current movement speed in intentionally? Movement speed is a setting, actually. That I'm just leaving it right now for the moment, because only really when I grind do I really set the movement and all that up to high heaven, like full zoom in mode. But for these kind of things, I leave it out the way it is. Now if I want to fight and have it easy, enemies will not have any boost. We do, but they get defense 50 as well. That's the only real downside. And their stats for the ninjas are not great. The gunners are really the only things that are a threat at this moment. But I want that bonus from up there. And I think you can get it with this. If not three, then maybe to... Or not nine, then maybe like... Probably six. Nope, we made it all the way to nine. Nice. Then we could just put everyone back here. Stay at least one space away to have your full accuracy. Actually, you should be able to just. Yep, because you're technically two spaces away. It works out. Yes. 
And I'm probably gonna throw those two gunners together later on, or in the next turn. Okay. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Shining comes flying from the back. This one up. Wait. You evil fucking man with the flip phone. And pass the rice. Wait, what? <gasps> Bitch! Since when were there reinforcements? Oh, fuck. Shining. Uh, MK fan. You're gonna be the one to throw. Yeah, surprise enemy. That's new. Normally, there's a gate, then you could just see them coming. Oh, you're just off. Yes. <laughs> All right, face them for no bonus. Yes. Yes. Impact detected. <laughs> error. Error. Oops. You need some of it as well. Oh, another big thing for the changes that this guy S six has made. About to be present showed right now. Because if you noticed. No one's leveled up so far in this map. It's divvied up at the end of the map. Experience and mana for everyone that showed up. Because the Rainbows win again! Ratings increased by 5%. That's how life works. No matter how much you preach about justice, it's winning that actually matters. When it comes down to it, winning is justice. <laughs> winning is justice. Come, come, Zen. Statements like that will set a bad example for the children. Shut up! It's about time someone taught those brats how the real world works. Do what it takes to win. Get back up when you fall. Survive at all costs. Winning is justice. Do what it takes to win. I finally found the answer I've been searching for this whole time! Winning is justice! Of course that's how things work! Justice means nothing if you lose! Alright, Prism Rangers! From here on out, we shall barrel down the road of total carnage at breakneck speed! My, my, her path has certainly taken a dark turn! Oh well, it should be fun to watch! Hmm. I have a feeling this show will be cancelled, whether we win or lose. A word, Zed. Have you making use of the auto-repeat function? Only in grinding, but... Allows you to automatically repeat, replay previously cleared stages. Okay, yeah, thank you. Miss Fury Gunner's Hunt, Ninja Hunter, and Map Tidy. Great job! Great job! Great job! Great job. Great job. We got some new quests. I don't even know if I want to do them again. I'm counting on you. Currently, we have six characters. We have enough people that are frontline. We have two mages. One is barely a mage. And we have the speed that is shining. 
Have I gained stat boosting spells like uh, Shield and Braveheart yet? No. Not yet. Actually, now that you mentioned, yeah, I have not seen any of them yet. Like, not even on the opponents. A buff bot would not be out of place and could fundamentally break this game if they work like in the other Disguise games. Lest you forget, well, what, which one was it? Roast, the, um, uh, the demon that for some reason had a unique skill that just said, double your attack. <coughs> Usually the clerics have the buffs. We haven't been able to stay on the cleric that long, unfortunately, but with six units, I'm gonna... I'm scared the maps might get bigger, admittedly. Not immediately, pressingly, but... Hmm. One second. I want to... Get something real quick. Did anyone comment lately? Hold on. Ever seven and eight? Not eight, but maybe seven. It depends. Let me see. Comments for this guy. Uh... There's a Willow posted one on the sky on first part, so you're too late to that one. Did anyone post it on the new one? No one's posted really on the newest video for a character request, so... Alright. Twitch only for this one. I like pears. Indeed I do, yes. But... <coughs> I do not want to get myself too much to grind and worry about this early. Especially when I don't have all the things that I would want to realistically make the grind as seamless and easy as possible. Oh, God, strength. What, what are you doing with Pow? I'll write it down. I do love my... Wait, is there a shaman in this game? So currently, all we have is a fighter... A fatalist, uh, the heretic, the, the mage, because the skulls are gone from this game, the thief, the archer, the gunner, the ninja, the heavy knight, the mage knight, this one random ass mecha robot, and so far, still, the only demon we have is a printy. We can get a zombie, but no. There is a samurai, and there is something called the psychic, but they have to be unlocked. And based on who wants what, we can unlock them as needed. Return any time you wish. Yeah, like Samurai is going to require some whoever you make to be an archer, because Warrior is already at rank 2, so that could work out. You would just be an archer, and then as soon as it gets what it needs to, you can become a Samurai. Then if you want to become a Psychic, you'd have to start out as a Clergy first, just so we can get someone to 2-star, and then you would become the Psychic. Oh, Tishram, you want to become a Psychic? Alright, I'll write it down for you. I'll have that arranged by next stream, probably. But still, same thing applies to everyone. We can have repeat classes, I don't care. So, where is... It's everything. It is, I believe, in that folder, right? How's it going, Danger Fang? Welcome! <coughs> yeah, if you guys want, you can give me a team of straight up just psychics. I'll kind of hate you, but we'll make it work. Like, I kind of do per have a deep-seated fear of just everyone saying, All right, everyone, give them nothing but clerics, all fist users, all into a defense. 
I'd hate you beyond your wildest imaginations. But I make it work. And yes, we are about to do character requests, alright? Let's see, giveaway, custom character, everyone. We're only doing one this time. Exclamation mark join to get a chance, alright? Super pretty, I just saw that fucking comment. You can put it here. Everybody, you straight up went to YouTube just to do a comment real fucking fast. I <laughs> mean, no harm. Hey, no problem, man. No problem. And if you already have a character, don't bother. You don't get one. You already have one. As a refresher for people that don't know, my character quests are. Well, they're yours. Tell me how you want them to level up. Do you want them to put allocation points into something else, something specific? Do you want them to use a certain kind of weapon to get skills? Do you want them to turn into three other character Guma classes just so they can get abilities from all those branches all to come into one perfect unit of your choosing? Do you want to fill a character up until we unlock something later down the line, like maybe right at the end? I mean, we'll work with it. We'll figure it out. You pick their everything. Wouldn't a fish there just be a chiropractor? Technically, I think. You got 30 seconds left. There aren't any new quests. Exclamation mark, join if you want to get into getting your own custom character in the run. Oh, wait, just take the time to get some water. Two, one, and done. Alright. Who gets a custom character? Solar Gem X! Please tell me you're here this time! This will be so fucking unfortunate! Solar, are you here, man? Please. You got your second shot at this. You won the first time, and you are here now. Congrats, man. He's fucking here! <laughs> Alright, Archer. Alright. You will be made by... Probably Wathame. What do you want them to be called? Apollo? Nice. Column Faker. No, this is not a fate reference. I don't even think this if this game has that that actual attack that I know you're talking about. Alright, so we'll give you two hundred or two thousand karma to start out with. And unfortunately, we cannot give you any of the other bonuses right now, but that's just a start. Do you want to put any of your karma points into stats, or do you want to save them for, like, movement up, damage up, counterattack, all that stuff? That will happen upon first reincarnations. Later. Gotcha. It would take 150 mana to get to the level 76, but stats mean so little that I think it... Yeah, just gonna reincarnate you at one. You're gonna be rather frail, but we're gonna take care of you, right? What about voices? Let's see. Alright, let's listen. Good work. 
gold. Gotcha. And we have three different colors. The regular, regular archer color, this pink-haired one, or the blue one. I understand the archer color will evolve as it goes on, and you can change it if you want, but the next ones you can have that are going to be permanent would be the pink or the blue one. Extra one, you want the pink. All right, give me a second to write all this down so that way we can, I can have a record of this. With your business. All right, now here's the part where you can utterly ruin me. What weapon do you well, want your archer Queen. to have? Reincarnate to angel later? Can do. I'll write it down. Bo, I'm nice. God bless you, sir. Chat later. I know, right? They're so good. They don't want to fuck me like, fuck, like Pow sometimes tries to. Let's see, stuff that would help out the bow. Raw defense is always going to be somewhat useful, but I don't know if, like, unfortunately, glasses give you instant of attack. So I'm, I'd be pressed to saying straight for the moment, just exertion belt, just to get you from that. Like Shantan? Why, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'll give you just straight exertion belts just so that we can get a suitable enough attack boost to bring you to at least something of a level that we currently have around. Thank you very much. Now, at the very least, while you are not necessarily like, on par with anyone? At the very least, you are not, like, far behind. Like, well, well Shining, after getting a couple of reincarnations, only at 484, or 48k. You can match that, if you get a bit going. Let's get this event. Where is it? You. The ranger. Just look for clarification's sake. We really are inside a television program, correct? Of course. And whether or not this world can continue to exist depends on our viewers' ratings. Viewer ratings? That's right. It's a measure of our popularity and just justity. You could almost call it the HP of the world. Maybe we fast it to just show you. Here. Oh, what in the world are these dreadfully tacky glasses? They're not tacky. They're the coolest glasses around. Say hello to the viewer rating scouter. A must for any self-respecting ranger. God damn. <laughs> These nifty low gizmos will display our rating tr our ratings trends, plus they can even give you a peek at the kids watching. Hmm, that don't seem to be very many of them out there. Th they're just away doing chores or homework or something. These are good little boys and girls, you know? Sounds pretty unpopular and low justosity to me. You're just in denial. That said, it does seem that the numbers have gone up a bit lately. New members, uh, plus a comeback victory, plus my breakthrough into the land of carnage, equals ratings galore. Wait, what? Carnage. <coughs> Let's keep it up, guys. Prism Rangers, move out! Oh, wait, 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 carnage. The fuck what? Follow me, please.